We're in McWanago for our Preps Plus game of the week. It's the Indians hosting Kettle Moraine. For the Lasers, they lost their first two games of the season, but they've since won four in a row, and they're tied with Arrowhead for first place in the Classic 8 Conference. Meanwhile, McWanago, they're at home. This is a rivalry game, and a win for them on Friday night would bring them back to 500 heading into the holiday break. The Indians come in trying to snap a two-game slide with a little two-step. But it's Kettle Moraine who starts on the front foot. Off the miss three, Eric Martell. Tip drill, timeout McGuanago, 8-2 start for the Lasers. McGuanago playing some D though, the trap leads to transition. Brandon Howe on the finishing end, he cuts the lead to four. Kettle Moraine shot well though, George Schwartz rattles home a three, and it's 13-7 Lasers after one. Kettle Moraine head coach Brad Bester telling his team to get low and D up. And they listen. Off the miss, Nick Fuller goes coast to coast, and he'll draw the foul too. That's the three-point play, 21-9. But then he snaps off a lazy pass, and McWana goes on it. Caleb Wildeman scores. He led the Indians with 11, and the senior also had the swat of the night. He sends Sean Miller's shot to the front row. Kettle Moraine closes the half hot. That's Mitch Pfeiffer from deep, 30-16 lasers at the break. After a rousing rendition from the McGuanago dance team, it was more the same. Miller snags the steal and dishes ahead to Pfeiffer for the easy finish. Then on the break, Fuller to Miller. Miller the high score in the game with 20 points, and the lead is 22 after three. What can McGuanago do? They play on. Good move here by Dane McDermott, but it's all lasers. Fuller with the floater, and that's five in a row for Kettle Moraine. A 15-point win and a happy coach after the game. That's a great win for us against a very good program, a very good team. Um, and for us personally, we put it together, everybody buying in, doing the right things. It's tough in the class kids go on the road and get that kind of win. We lost a lot of guys and got a lot of new people coming in, playing great. Um, last year we started the same exact way and we're just fighting our way back. Now we're this year's team. After tonight, we're this year's team. We have our own brand um, and they're just really coming together and understanding, sharing the ball, understanding, communicating on defense, and, and, and it's just really, it's clicking for us right now, and we're, we're playing well. I'm proud of the boys.